Hi guys, this is Sadek from Rodman.com. In this video, we'll show you how to find the latest UN1 CA ROM Android 16 One UI 8 base on any Samsung phone. So please take a backup of all that on your phone and let's get started. As you could see currently, we have a long list of new features which are live as of now. We will have a look at all of these new features as well. But before that, let's first flash the ROM. As of now, the ROM is just released, so we have only three to four phones. If your phone is here, well and good. If it's not here, then it will be live in a few days or weeks if the phone is supported. In that case, your phone should be shown here. So just keep a tab on the section and you will see your phone shortly if it's supported. So in my case, I have the phone and I have the ROM file as well. Yes, it's here. So once that is done, let's now flash the ROM file onto our phone. So first off, you have to flash the custom recovery. And for that, you have to unlock the phone, which is quite obvious for unlocking. You have to first enable OEM unlocking onto your phone and USB debugging as well. Let's enable both the toggles. For that, go to settings, about phone, software information, tap on build number seven times. Then go back, again go back, go to dev option from here, enable OEM unlocking as well as USB debugging, tap on OK. And with this, we have turned on both the toggles. So once that is complete, now boot the phone to download mode, then long press the volume up key to go to device unlock mode. And once again, press the volume up key to unlock the phone. I made an article and a video on that. I'll show you both of them. Just a second. This is my article over here. So after going to download mode, this is the download mode. Then long press the volume up key to go to device unlock mode. Again, press the volume up key to unlock the phone. And once that is complete, you have to also connect to Wi-Fi and make sure the OEM unlocking is shown here, enable and gray out as you could see. So with this, you have bypassed the wall keeper. In my case, I've unlocked the phone, but I haven't yet done a Wi-Fi connection. So you could see OEM unlocking is missing from here. So I have to bypass the wall keeper as well. This will take just a few seconds. So let me just bypass the wall keeper onto my phone. If you don't do so, then in that case, you will not be able to flash any files onto your phone. So let's quickly bypass the wall keeper. After you have done the Wi-Fi connection, just give me a second, wait for a few seconds, close the dev option from the backend. Now reopen this and we should now have the OEM unlocking toggle. Let's see if it's there or not. So OEM unlocking is still not shown here. No issue whatsoever. Close it once again. Wait for a few seconds. Then once again, enable this settings, dev options. And I guess now we should have the OEM unlocking toggle. You could see, so we have bypassed the wall keeper. Unlocking is now complete. So once you've unlocked the phone, let's now flash the recovery file onto our phone. For flashing the recovery file, you need to have the recovery file as well as the VP meta patch file. Both the files are required. So either get the file from the official recovery site or from XDA. So get both the files, the recovery file and the tar and the VMeta patch file. Both are in the tar format because we have to flash in the tar only, not the IMG. So once you've got both these files, let's move ahead with the next step. Now get the Odin tools for flashing the recovery file. So get the tools from here, extract them onto a PC and you will get the following files of Odin. Just give me a second. Flash tools is over here. Odin is here. Extract it and you will get the following files. So once you've got the Odin tool, now you have to boot a phone to download mode. For that, there are quite a few ways. Easiest way is simply use the ADB command. So get the Android SDK from my article, extract them onto a PC and you will get the following files. Let me show you platform tools. The files are over here. Once that is done, your next action is to use the ADB command to boot the phone to download mode. So open the CMD window over here, type in CMD, hit enter, and then type in the command of ADB devices and verify you're having an ID. So as you could see in our case, we're having this ID. If that's all well and good, then now type in the command of ADB, reboot, download. The phone should now be in the download mode in a few seconds. Apart from that, you may also use the hardware key combination. The steps are given in this article. So for example, you have to power off the phone. After power offing the phone, hold both the volume keys up and down and then insert the USB cable and the phone will be in the download mode as well. But that will take some time. The easiest way is to simply use the ADB command and you could now see we are in the download mode. We could now flash the recovery file onto our phone. For flashing the recovery file, le let's launch the Odin tool, which is over here. Open the exe file, you will get a prompt, click on OK. Now go to the first of verify, the phone is shown in the com section in the log as well. If that's all well and good, go to option, uncheck auto reboot. Then click on AP and load the recovery file from here. In the data slot, load the file of VB meta patch file. Again, tar file is also the tar file, click on open. And now click on start. Flashing will take just four to five seconds. So let's wait for that to complete. And once that is done, once you get the path message, first off, press and hold the volume down and power keys and keep on holding both the keys for seven to eight seconds. Then let go of the keys and then press and hold the power and the volume up key. 
So I'll show you what I mean. First off, it's the volume down and the power keys. So keep on holding both the keys until the phone is about to undergo a restart. So let me show you. And when that happens, let go of the keys and now press and hold the volume up and power keys and hold both the key for four to five more seconds until the phone is in the warning screen. So keep on holding both the keys till you see the warning screen on your phone. And when that happens, you may let go of the keys as well. Now release the key. If you have pressed the keys at the right time, the phone should not be in the, in the recovery mode or else it will be in the stock recovery or stock OS if you haven't pressed the key at the right time. In our case, it should be in the hardware recovery because we have pressed the key at the right time only. There should not be any issue whatsoever. So let's now see what is the case with our phone. It will take just a few more seconds and we are not inside the recovery. Now on some phones, you have to also wipe a few other slots. For example, in the Galaxy S20 FE, I had to wipe a few more slots. So please verify what is the need for your phone. But most of the Samsung phone only require you to do a wipe after flashing a recovery file. Just do a wipe and that is more than enough for most of the phone. On some rare phone, some other steps are required. So please have a look at that for your phone. In Galaxy S20 FE, you have to wipe a few other slots as well. But on most Samsung phone, you just have to do a wipe format data. And then once again, do a reboot to recovery. So go to reboot, choose recovery and wait for a few seconds. And we announced that the recovery, so the flashing of recovery is now complete. Now we have to flash the ROM file. So for that, transfer the file onto your phone. For our phone, my phone is shown here, but I cannot access the storage of my phone. It's not possible right now, some issue. So not a problem. Just do one thing, copy the ROM zip file from here and paste the file inside platform tools, which is over here. Then do a renaming of the file. Let's rename it to ROM and the name becomes rom.zip. After that, open the same window here. Type in the command of adb push, file name rom.zip and for now let's not use the SD card, let's use any other slot. Let's say the data slot, hit the enter key, the file will now be onto your phone in a few seconds it will be transferred. So let's wait, you may either use the adb push command, a normal file copy paste or the USB if you have any drive, use that. But please don't use the adb side load because that is only used with the USB recovery like linear OS recovery and not with the recovery. So use the USB pen drive or OTG, the ADB push command or the normal copy paste, but don't use the ADB sidebar for now. So with that said, let's keep a tab on the file transfer. So guys, we have now got the file onto our phone. So let's flash it. For that, we have used the data slot. So go to upper level, data, ROM file, swipe to flash. The flashing will now start, take up to around four to five minutes. So guys, as you could see, the flashing is now complete. Now go back and once again do a phone formatting. So wipe, format data, type in yes, hit the blue check mark and it's now complete as well. So now tap on reboot system. The first booting up will take up some time, around 30 to 40 seconds, which is all normal, nothing to worry about. But that said, let's at least keep a tab on the boot logo or the boot animation. So that will signify flashing button successfully. They should now appear anytime soon. So let's just see for that. The boot animation should now be live after this screen. And with this, I guess this will signify we have done the flashing successfully without any issue whatsoever. So let's just keep a tab on this and see what happens now. Just a few more seconds are remaining now for the boot animation to appear. And you could see the warning is gone and we have the Android logo now. So the phone should be inside the OS. And with this, we are now inside the setup screen. This took some time, but again, not a major cause of concern. I agree to all for now. If you want, you may connect to Wi-Fi, link your account and restore all the app data but that will take ages so i'm skipping that as of now let's just set up manually our phone skip all of these that's not required next skip this as well skip anyway more more accept okay let's accept all of these terms and conditions swipe gestures are fine next let's use the dark theme this looks nice i agree and that is it we are now inside the one ui 8 Android 16 ROM of the UN1CA. Give it a few more seconds and that is it. We are now all the apps and features which you have in the One UI 8 is now live over here onto our phone. So this is the new QS tiles. You may make separate section for them. For example, on the right hand side, you will only get the notification, the QS tiles on the left you will only get the notification as you could see. Then apart from that in the settings menu, the UIs are somewhat different. So first off, let's see the Galaxy AI. And you could see the call assist, writing assist, interpreter, 
नोट एस एस ट्रांसक्रिप्ट एस एस ब्राउजिंग एस एस फोटो एस एस वेल देर लॉट ऑफ ए आई फीचर्स ऑडियो इरेजर नो ब्रीफ एज वेल कंटिन्यू इट रिक्वायर्स वाई फाई आई गेस येस नॉट एन इशू देन इन द नोटिफिकेशन वॉट ऑल इज देयर लॉक स्क्रीन अपियरेंस दिस इज फाइन देन डिस्प्ले इज समथिंग विच माइट हैव फॉर अवर यूजेज स्क्रीन मोड कैमरा स्क्रीन टाइम आउट इजी नेविगेशन बार स्वाइप जेस्टर्स सर्किल टू सर्च देर एज वेल लेट सी येस दैट इज वर्किंग वेल एंड गुड नो इशू विद दिस फीचर इट रिक्वायर्स वाई फाई कनेक्शन विच इज क्वाइट ऑबियस देन वॉल पेपर साइज सेक्शन फ्रॉम हियर लेट्स सी द वॉल पेपर्स विच ऑल वी हैव इंडर एक्टिव एंड फीचर्ड दिस फाइव आर देयर गैलरी नथिंग यू कुड मेक वॉल पेपर फाइव ए आई एज वेल ग्राफिकल वॉल पेपर्स आर हियर कलर्स कलरफुल वॉल पेपर वॉल पेपर सर्विस डायनामिक लॉक स्क्रीन यू मू डाउनलोड दिस वॉल पेपर इफ रिक्वायर्ड फॉर नाउ आई डोंट नीड दैम ग्लैंस ऑन सैमसंग लेट स्किप दैट कलर पैलेट यू मै चेंज इनेबल दिस एंड देन थीरिंग विल बी इनेबल अकॉर्डिंगली this this there are a lot of options based on the wallpaper colors and you may also choose the basic colors to change the theme as you could see well let's stick with the wallpapers for colors only the first one apply it's somewhat more green than anticipated but it's fine something new for now let's see what all has changed i guess the qr ties might have been changed as well you could see the qr ties have been changed settings is same as before nothing there then apart from that in the theme section you may get the theme from the theme store view the current theme this is the current theme wallpaper is this over here icons you may get more icons from the store if required in the home screen you may change the app size app label home grid size 4 cross 6 is currently you could choose 5 cross 6 as well let's choose this one this is much better app grid size you may change that if required yes i want that to happen folder grid is fine nothing on that then okay it's gone now i suppose settings apart from that let's now see the locked in and aod swipe lock and biometrics swipe always on display now bar is there as well enabled all of them view more okay all of them are enabled let me see if it's shown something here not at least the battery percentage well it's currently not shown i don't know why then uh, no brief is enabled from here apart from that allow about lock screen nothing else here okay additional touch prevention in aod i did not find the aod option just give me a second all the sound space okay over here it's enabled now so now let me see aod is working or not you could see aod is working but it's only showing the battery information for now not the time and clock i don't know why when to show always okay now it will work about aod not required and now you will see the aod is working well and good double tap to wake then apart from that what all is there touch and hold to edit lock screen we are done with accounts and backup google advanced features so bixby hardly anyone use nowadays it's no longer required labs multi window for all apps back swipe preview okay let me see this yes this is working quite nicely then multi window is done side button you may change it to power key double press to open camera any app can be open as well wow that's nice long press to open assistant multi window is split screen pop up view full screen split view cancel and it's working as well let's go back for now then apart from that full screen is done now screenshot and motion and gestures left to wake double tap to turn on screen is working double tap to turn off screen you see here this is working as well no issue over here palm up to capture well i don't know why this does not work it might be a ui issue or something like that but as of now this is not working or something i might be doing wrong let me know in the comments if there's something wrong from my end game booster settings i am not a fan of any game as such but if you want you may change it to performance
this will lead to more battery drainage but we will get a much better experience for gaming the other tools uh, tools okay you have all the tools which should be ordered from here screenshot resolution 100% screenshot format jpg is fine galaxy of tar again okay you may take your photo and then it will be tweaked accordingly to your avatar dual messenger to take dual apps on a single phone then okay un1 cs settings rom version device name ui settings is over here enable live blur effect in the wallpaper is fine launcher and mission type and the mission type okay high end i am not quite sure what is this what animations talking about we will have to see nice okay let's skip this and apart from that for the peak refresh this will lead to more battery drainage but i will use this because i want the best ui experience for the rom usage in the spoof settings hardware registration block gradient key station pif okay we have a pif file you can tap on update pif and then this will help you pass the basic and the device test i want to upload the keybox file but i cannot see that option i don't know why that's not there apart from that if all the other things are there but the keybox file is not there we may update the pif and this will help us pass the basic and the device test but for passing the strong test i don't know what needs to be done because we don't have the keybox file now you may hide the dev server from apps as well for example various banking apps have a look at that so you may add your app over here choose it and then it will be hidden from those apps it's so a great feature once again extra tweaks allow app downgrade this is also required to install low apks which have a, for low android versions allows secure screenshot for banking apps this can be done as well unlock higher fps in games then apart from that software update is okay if you want you may install the ot updates from here or flash the update from the recovery screen as well and then about phone section it's all useful information then let's see the lock screen tweaks this is done themes is also done of widgets what's all is here the same widgets as before then settings the it's all we have seen as before as well okay widgets what people in style over here anything else nothing as fancy themes we have already had a look at so that is it i suppose over here let's see anything else we have done that already now then we also have a few lock screen tweaks so long press swipe to swipe up okay just do a long press over here and then you will see the options first off the variations okay for the wallpaper colors variations all of these are nice let's go with this one only then tap on the clock and you could see the clock size the numbers can be changed you may increase the size of the clocks if required and so you could see all of these are quite nice okay it's a long list of clocks available for us apart from that we also download more fonts for the clock that's great to see in the style section okay let's go with this one only in the style section what all is there okay the changing of the clock style and date which can be changed again these are some nifty okay this looks quite nice let's go with this one only for now it can be increased yes it can be increased then show better information as well show date above clock or below that this is much better for me and that is it so guys that's all from this video this is the first build so more and more features will be added at new build so keep a time on that and moreover as of now only 3 to 4 phones are live but we will see the support from more phones and when that happens i will update my article accordingly and all thank go to the developer salvo for making this rom so you may thank him the flashing is very easy simply flash a custom recovery do a format data and flash the rom file again do a format data and that is it that's just about it and you could then have a look at the rom with ease there's no issue whatsoever you have got a lot of new tweaks and ui you could see over here the new features are all given here it's just that i cannot find the option to upload the keybox file but apart from that everything else is working very fine nothing as such you have all the ai tweaks as well so guys that's all from this video if you have any query let me know in the comment section and just to show you it's the latest one ui 8 build over here and thanks a lot for watching this video